I like before we start, like, should like, there any question you do not want me to ask, like anything, like any topic you do not want me to ask? Nah, I'm good for anything. Okay, except I, if you like ask right. for my social security number, I draw the line there. What is your social security <laughs> number? No. Dang it! Dang it! That's like question number one. There it goes. Cross that. I'm guessing um, pin code is also included. Yeah, uh, the credit card mm, number. That kind of depends. Like, I don't know you guys that well. It's only been, I see, 15 minutes. So, <laughs> well, with me, it's been a week. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to season two of the Midnight Grab at Podcast. It's been a long time, but we're back. It hasn't even started yet, and we're already laughing. Yeah, <laughs> that's how all our podcast starts. And all four of them. It literally starts with canned laughter. <laughs> No, I can't. <laughs> no, but that should be a thing. Like every time there's awkward silence, there's like ha 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 in the background. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that I just naturally do that. I just yeah, naturally laugh at awkward natural, situations. Yeah, it becomes silent. Mickey just starts bursting out laughing. That's yeah, that's my thing. That's so they don't need canned laughter. I just naturally do it. Boom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Mickey here. Taylor here, and with our special guest, we let them introduce themselves. Um, I'm thinking how I should do this. Hi, it's me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, guys, we got Mario in the house. Gonna tell us all about Overall the Super Mario. And all. <laughs> yes. So, Mario, how was the Super Smash Bros. life? <laughs> um, it was unfair, but I kept winning, so I didn't really question it. Uh, do, do, do you have separate overalls or just one pair? Of overalls? Um, it depends on what day it is. Like I have these really nice ones if it's me and Peach, but like if it's any other day, I just kind of have like the normal like greasy ones. Mm-hmm. You know, being a plumber is hard. But aren't you usually saving Peach? So do you like have a special pair you keep in your back pocket so like once you save her, you can change into your nice pair? Uh, that's between me and her. <laughs> 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 but they feel great, is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, I, I believe Maybe you. Maybe that could be a thing, like velvet overalls. Oh my. If you want to go out and stay in at the same time. Oh, I heard of a person who had a car made out of velvet. Like their car was velvet. Mm. Like the outside. And all I could think was, go out in the rain in that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be one wasted car. Here's my prized possession, a velvet car. Oh, cool, let's try to drive it. N- no, but it's a car. That's not what it's for. It just looks good. <laughs> it just looks good. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's how I feel like about like some of my boots. Mom's like, no, those are your nice boots. I, I, they're, they're boots. I'm going to wear is, them. Is, is, is that a thing in your culture, by the way? Because like here, we have what you call like nice plates. Like very cutesy gold trim plates that nobody ever uses like you just find yeah. it in the cab yeah we call that wedding china <laughs> oh, oh I see. wedding china oh, okay yeah yeah wedding china usually isn't used and if it is used it's used on very special occasions we or never at all in, yeah, yeah or never. box you, you oh yeah cuz we got oh, married no. No, my parents. <laughs> oh, no. was I invited? Dang it. Come on, Taylor. You gotta give me something. Hey, in this relationship, one of us is straight. Actually, what? Kind of, what? Um, Which one is it? It's me. Yeah. Uh, no, come on. We're supposed to leave some mystery. That's what There's they, no mystery. Th- that's what Cosmo said. Cosmo said leave mystery in the relationship. If everybody, <laughs> if everybody listened to every single one of our videos, I literally bring this back up <laughs> that one of us is straight in this relationship. <laughs> I'm mostly straight too. No. Mostly. I'm, 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 I'm straight dot dot dot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, like, her, it's her tattoo. We saying that she's gonna get a tattoo like, on her back that says, I'm straight dot dot dot, I think. 
dot 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 <laughs> it's like you know i think i'm straight but if a girl comes along or someone else comes like, along i'm not gonna be like I, and if my heart just starts going boom 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 i'm not gonna be like no i'll be like okay let's follow this girl. Let's um and, let's stalk this girl but i, I realized let's, as soon as i said it, it sounded like yes let's stalker. go stalk the girl <laughs> You guys are adorable, my <laughs> Oh, thank you. You are amazing. You are awesome. Aww. But tell us a little about yourself. Mario, okay. apparently. No. Mario. <laughs> Mar Mar Maria. You Maria. would be surprised that um, people actually mispronounce my name all the time. Because it's not my real name. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a part of my legal name, but in my country, we don't usually use Maria. Like, it's just... Uh, it's a formality to have Maria in your name but my real name is actually Patricia oh, and really? I am 17 years old there was a pause there because I kind of forgot that I was 17 years old I am from the <laughs> Philippines where it's very hot and there's no snow and people park wherever they want <laughs> now that sounds like that sounds like Kentucky because yeah we just had we just had six tornadoes in one week yeah no snow yeah, yeah. No snow and it's you know December. still raining, it's still flooding over here. Don't know why. <laughs> it's like he's weird. There's no such thing called seasons here. It, we, we just it's like you know what? Let's let's be cold in July. Yeah, why they're not? gonna like let's snow in July. Well, well, why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's be uh, we think Mother Nature just wants. I think Mother, Mother Nature is on her period here. Mother Nature's a strong, independent woman who don't need no forecasts. Yeah, she, yeah. Mother Nature always Preach. beat us up every once Preach. a month. Preach. Can you hear the traffic outside, by the way? I'm yeah. really sorry. <laughs> I'm a so sorry. Bit, but it's okay. Yeah. I just put a caption We're... on the bottom of the desk. Just Filipino traffic. Traffic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's Every true. once in a while, the train that goes by. Okay. But anyways, I am... I don't know what I shouldn't add. I am a blood type A+. Plus. My heart rate is cur I don't know what my heart rate is. G give me a moment. Find, like, 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 like one minute to count it. All right. <laughs> well, I, it, it wouldn't be fair because uh, I just had a strenuous physical activity activity a while ago because mm. shortly before this podcast started my relatives came over and they got locked in my parents' room and I actually didn't notice. I just noticed a loud thumping noise and when I like peeked outside uh, my uncle's friend, my uncle's driver was busting down the door and at first I didn't question it. I thought like maybe they're locked which is really strange that I didn't question the fact that there was a man kicking down my parents' door and I just went back into my room until my sister called me eventually and she's like, oh hey, our relatives are locked up in the room and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> they got out eventually, but now we don't have a door in my parents' room and uh, I don't know what to do about that, but maybe you could buy one of those seashell curtains. Yeah, that could work. Yeah. yeah. Well, in today's podcast, we're going to talk about the new year like people once it with the whole term new year new me and advice and stuff like that so what's your guys' new year's revolutions let's start off with that revolution um let's see i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna throw over the monarchy that's yes what i'm gonna do oh, <laughs> the monarchy wonderful. in america i'm gonna bake <laughs> in kentucky or oh wait i already done that i'm here <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to make fun of Taylor's pronunciation. Don't make fun um, of my accent. We live in the same place. No, I made fun of the way you said it. Don't judge You've me. You mispronounced it. Don't judge me. Judging. I'm a strong independent black it's woman. It's okay. It could be the new pronunciation. Yes, revolution. What's your new year revolution, you guys? Apparently. Uh, 720p? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's such an overplayed joke. Um, do I have a New Year's resolution? Um, I just want to survive this year of college, cause woo, college. Oh god, why did yeah, I? I just, yeah, I just thought about life? this. You're in college and you're about 17. College. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're just, the same age as me. She's and in I'm high school. That's, high school. Oh, that's uh, actually how the education system works here. We have six years of grade school, four years of high school, and then immediately college. But it's actually 
we're changing it up. We're actually copying the American school system. And I'm actually the last batch to go under the radar. Like, we were the last batch to graduate. And there won't be any more graduations for the next two years, I believe. Oh, nice. Yeah, but it's also horrible because, like, all of the high school teachers are now being laid off because there won't be specific years of high school anymore. And a lot of college teachers are moving out and going to somewhere that will pay them higher because there's more demand. Stuff like that. Oh, dear. Very depressing stuff like that. Yeah, it's true. Wow, here is just, you have elementary school kindergarten all the way to fifth grade and then you have middle school which a lot of people say they don't have a middle school and oh we don't have middle school either you don't have a middle school i think that's just an american thing yeah, yeah. it yeah. sounds it's horrible hell. from what i've heard it's, it's, it's middle it, it school is. middle school is terrible because because it's... you take everyone who's just a, who's starting puberty and put them in a confined space for three years and then just and then just the time where like i gotta go find myself yeah, and then uh, just that's... no, but you have to wear uniforms. <laughs> but you gotta wear uniforms. Uh, but I will find myself. <laughs> more so because um, at that time was I think grade school for us is like the latter part. I mean, sorry. I think middle school here in our country is like grade school, but the middle part. And at the time, I was in an all-girls Catholic school. And that was when I was like figuring out whether or not I was gay. And at the same time, there was like a, a religious guilt factor, things like those. It, it, it was a messy, messy time growing up for me. Yeah. Well, that kind of leads okay. to this question uh, from Amr. I'm oh. gonna mispronounce this so bad. Amr Heispin 2002. She okay. said, they like, do you have anything to say about all the things that happened to you, both good and bad, throughout this year? Can you share with us? Throughout this year? Well, this year has been... Oh, this year has been a bumpy ride. It's funny that as you grow older, years start to not be as long. You, you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Like, it doesn't feel long anymore. But this year has been like a doozy. Because this year, I started it with a boyfriend and I was still unsure of what my sexuality was but uh, I'm this isn't exactly podcast friendly thing to say but let's just say me and my boyfriend we had uh, altercation so that thing happened and I asked my parents if I could have therapy if that was okay if I had it because I really needed it for a time and even I knew it but my parents didn't understand it at first so this year I, this year's biggest accomplishment for me has to be being able to tell my parents that I needed help and eventually I got some uh, I have a doctor now a lovely lady I don't think I'm allowed to say her name but she's a wonderful therapist it helped me a lot uh, I got noticed by a lot of important online idols I met Nigahiga and I'm <gasps> broke now because yeah, of that I saw the pictures of those ah it was wonderful Oh my god, I was like, I was It was so a joy. And you mm. met um, David Choi too. That's true, yes. I have a hat that was signed by both of them, including uh, oh, the two members gosh. of RHBC, oh, Sean yeah. and Derek. And I never oh. used it anymore. Like, this hat, I used to wear it all the time, and ever since I got it signed, I've never worn it, except, like, at home. Just, like, <laughs> broke it. Like, I'm a shot style. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think like the only autograph I have is from Stan Lee. He's like the really? only. Really? Yeah, he's the. Oh, no, wait, that's a lie. It's just Stan Lee. No, I got. That's a lie. Like oh, I have happy Stan Lee. Happy birthday, Stan Lee! By the way, he just turned ninety-three a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah. Happy birthday, Stan, Stan Lee! Lee. Woo. Woo. Happy birthday! Yeah. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Keep it, keep it on. Keep on making keep... cameos in Marvel movies. Yes. I appreciate it. it. Stay. Oh my gosh. Live until one hundred and fifty. I, I heard that he said the Fantastic Four movie failed because he didn't it, have a cameo in it. It's true. I, I, I totally agree. I agree. <laughs> uh, I that was a it, god so I don't movie. know. Mickey, you want oh, to answer the question no. next? And by the way, I totally agree about the um, about seeing a doctor getting help because like mm -hmm. I would it, it, I would yeah. not be the person I am today without it. So yeah. yeah but of course. Oh, I'm really sorry if you can hear uh 
pounding in the background, by the way. They're trying to fix the door. <laughs> the door. <laughs> Not the door again. The door! But, uh, uh, following back to uh, therapy, because one of the best things that happened this year as a result of all my luck in getting noticed by these online stars is that I can communicate to like a big audience of people and I seem to attract those kinds of people that are looking for comfort and that's the best gift I could ever have uh, being able to help other people who need it because not everyone has the bravery to be able to say like hey I need help and that's fine so I get messages every now and then that I reply to uh, people who need help and it's such a joy when I get these replies back saying like thank you for helping me uh, I have help now or I came out of the closet now or things like those it's such a wonderful thing at the same time I don't have sleep but it's a minor sacrifice I have to make for others I want to run around the entire world to come give you a hug right now. Yeah, Aww. same. <laughs> I, I, wanna... I might go to America uh, this summer. Well, my version of summer, which is in August, I believe. Oh, that's weird. Our, our summer's yeah. in June. <laughs> well, mm, but it, yeah. well, ours used to be in March, but ever since we changed the school year, now it's in August. Oh, yeah. Huh. But anyways. See, that proves the seasons don't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Mickey, you your laugh question? is so cute, by the way. <laughs> You're the first one that says it was cute. Thank you. Everyone else says it's strange or it scares them because I have, I, have, I have many different ones. There's the high-pitched one that sounds like a cackle. There's the normal laugh-ish. And there's just variation. There's yep. one that just sounds like a bark, yep. honestly. Yep. yep. <laughs> That would be hilarious, might I add. Like, if you um, put a dog joke and then suddenly <laughs> start with. <laughs> that sounds like vocal exercises, don't you think? <laughs> 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 it, it, it actually is a vocal exercise, I can tell you that. That's an actual vocal exercise. Yep. They don't um, call her Mickey the Active or anything. <laughs> vocal, yeah. To anyone listening right now, vocal exercise is very important. Like, oh, yeah. hel hel it helps you with your breathing. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Did you um, guys ever uh, watch High School Musical? The yes, I... Hold on, hold on. I, I used to thought that was a load of crap, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so over-dramatizing, but it's pretty close to that. Yeah. <laughs> it's True. like, if you're, in a, if you're in a quiet room, you do kind of like go back to the High School Musical part of your brain and just do that exercise really quick while no one's watching. <laughs> Um, this may, this will, this is definitely out of topic, but one of my favorite hobbies is, tr is saying lyrics, like lyrics to a song, uh, as a part of a conversation, but, uh, and wait, and I'll time how long it takes before the person I'm speaking to gets that I'm saying things. So it's gonna be like, someone's having trouble and I'm gonna be like, once in a lifetime means there's no second chance. And, you know, I believe that you and me should grab it while we can and, you know, make it last forever and yes. never give it back. And, then, and, and they're just gonna look at me and they're like, what are you saying? <laughs> what dogs are you on? And they're gonna be like, oh, but high school, like, screw you, Maria. I think I, I did that to somebody a couple of days ago. I don't know who it is. It was probably Aaron Mickey. I just don't remember. <laughs> it was probably him, but I sent him lyrics to Hello from Adele. Oh, no. No, it was somebody, no, it was somebody who had a new phone. I don't know who. Somebody had like a new phone number and phone. And I was, hello. And I was like, it's me. And I was like, I don't uh, know. That, 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 that's not Aaron. Otherwise, he would have told me. And if it is Aaron, then I'm going to go kick his butt. No, it was somebody who, um, somebody got a new number or a new phone or something. And I just set, put that Adele lyrics for the longest time to figure out it was me. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Who should be Adele lyrics? No, like it kept on with the conversation. It was really weird that it went with the flow of the conversation. Oh. <laughs> really easy. Sometimes, sometimes things just line up, and the stars are like, "Yes, now is the moment." Yes, it should yeah, happen. And you have to pick sensible songs because you you can't just pick like um. You can't pick dubstep. Uh, yeah, yeah. What did you say? Um, uh, you can't pick like a. I'm trying to think of one of the big songs right now, and and. 
I'm mostly on Spotify, so I don't know big songs right now. <laughs> Spotify isn't a big thing in our country. I don't know how to use it. Oh, I, I, don't use, th- I use iTunes music. Hashtag this is not sponsored. <laughs> Please oh, sponsor hashtag. us iTunes. Unless they yeah. want to, yeah. then I'm willing to say nice things about them. Yeah, we. <laughs> if you want to get, hey, Spotify, you want to give me a premium without making me pay, I'll totally talk, talk good about you. Um, <laughs> tag is the price of my integrity. Same. I don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Um, <laughs> give us free stuff, we'll say whatever you want us to. Yeah. Short of bad things. We won't say bad things. No. We incriminate ourselves no. entirely on our own. Mm, that's true. The, Mickey, you want to answer the question or you want me to go? Or... Oh, wait, what's the question? The, it was the same questions about the good and bad of this year. Uh, this year's been... I, it still feels like... I, I can't believe 2014 is, 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 is like has been gone for as long as it has. And I can't believe 2015 is already over. It's like it was a whirlwind. Like, and I look at myself a year ago, and I look at myself now, and I'm like, I'm, even though I thought like the 2014 and 2015 me was so different, now the 2015 me and almost 2016 me is like really different. So I honestly, it's just, it's a whirlwind of emotions, especially because, you know, I'll be going to college next year, so that whole. Thing is happening. Just, you know, the, the entire world is just going. I don't know. The, the, the years just keep coming, and I'm just rolling with the punches, I guess. Is that a lyric? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, the years stop coming and they don't stop coming. coming Back to school. Through the rule and, and they hit the ground. Running. 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 It gets my I just watched head Shrek gets very sorry. recently, so... Oh, uh, yes! The Shrek. I love Shrek. I, okay, I have to tell you, my first concert was Smash Mouth. That was my first love concert. It was like... It's, no. 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 This year, I've been to a lot of concerts, and by a lot, I mean two. Which is a lot for me, since I've never been to a concert beforehand. Uh, yeah, I, Ariana Grande and Pentatonix. Oh, Pentatonix! Yeah, that was so far away from the stage, but it was great. It was actually really cheap because uh, they don't have instruments, of course, because they're their own instruments. So it was a fairly cheap concert compared to Ariana Grande. Like, oh wow, Jesus! <laughs> I've, I've been to me- I've been to like musicals and plays, but I haven't been to. Oh, I concerts. love musicals and plays. I, I oh, favorite musical go. I'm sorry, I'm taking Wicked. away from what? <gasps> I went and saw that for the first time this year. I loved it so much. Oh, Such a wonderful. I've also I'm also Les Mis Rap as a close second. <gasps> oh, that yes. one makes me like I cry. Like okay, this That's is a spoiler true. for Les Mis Rap, but that movie has been out. That play has been out, so y'all can complain all you want. Hashtag spoiler alert. <laughs> Action go. <laughs> Hashtag you should have seen this already. Um. <laughs> With the program, <laughs> gotta be updated with all the latest memes. Um, True. Which, do, whose, whose death hits you the most? Like, if if you oh, have to watch gosh. it all over again, whose death do you like? Close your eyes and go. It never happened. It never happened. Javert. The, the little boy. Javert. Uh, no, 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 the policeman. Yeah. No, with me, it's the little boy. Yeah. Oh, the same uh, Gavroche. Oh, Gavroche, sweet yeah. Because. Uh, Although the uh, death was, oh my god, please, three, shut up. It is so noisy outside. I'm so sorry. But uh, the thing with the rock. I was taking the drink as soon as you started cursing. <laughs> I, I don't. Spilled water all over everything. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Suddenly, water world <laughs> minus the animal abuse. But anyway, because for me, it was, uh, Javert wasn't the bad guy, you know? That's a common misconception, like, he was just doing his job. So it, like, it hurt a moral part of me to see that he decided to kill himself instead of face his moral ambiguity. It strikes a chord with me. 
That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That does make sense. Uh, I'm petty. Yeah. Um, when the movie started, I, I saw I cannot pronounce his name for the life of me. It starts with an E. And um, he's the leader of the whole rebellion. Oh, um. And I cannot say his name. Wasn't it? I cannot pronounce it. I'm gonna search it right now, so. L N L Like that. It's E N J O R A S. Like I can spell it, but I cannot pronounce it. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, E? And it, I thought, oh, this guy is so. E N J O A S. Making you glitch an ass a bit. Yep. This, oh, this is a normal Sorry. thing for her. Yeah. One second. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she... Let's call it that guy. That's his name. That guy. That guy. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. They're French. That's gay. <laughs> so, yes, was. Uh, E-N-J-O-R-A-S. And Joras. And Joras. I don't know. But I... And Joras. There it is. Um, I... I thought he was so attractive and so awesome. Like, this guy believes in what he believes in. That's awesome. I love it. You go, dude. You're so cute, too. I'm totally on your side. And I'm like, no. No, no, no. And then he, like, dies with the flag in his hand. I'm like, no. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and, and I think... And I'm sorry if you hear my voice start to do, like, kind of... Because you have an awesome accent. And my voice, when I, I hear do. accents... it You do. You have an amazing one. I love it. Yes. Um... But my voice tends to try to do accents when I'm talking, and so if if I say a word funny, I am really sorry. I'm not trying to make fun of you or anybody. My voice oh, just tries to do it. So if if it if all of a sudden I, I I say something and you're like that sounds funny, that's that's me just really trying to like not have my voice do a thing. Um, <laughs> Because I caught myself doing it like a couple times earlier, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, Michaela, stop! You're gonna be, you're gonna embarrass yourself in front of everybody." A whole 130 subscribers, <laughs> it, and all of her, and all of her subscribers. Oh yeah, too. All of her 2,000, right? Or uh, more than that, probably. Yeah. Depends like, on where you look at. Them. Well, I do have a YouTube account actually, but I don't use it as often as I post in DeviantArt. Yeah. Uh, her fourth. Uh, for 4,840 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Oh dear goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but here's my uh, my uh, peace of mind. Is that um, I don't technically count as, it as that much. Since I've had that account for such a long time. And when I was young, I used to do animations with this game. Of which I shall not omit the name of. Because it gives me strange flashbacks of times before but anyways so most of my uh, subscribers on that account which used to be called misprit was people who liked my stuff before and eventually just forgot to unsubscribe when i went on a hiatus for four or five years so it's not i mean if you look at my viewership it's maybe 300 at best and my subscriber count is 5000 because like 4000 and um 200 of those are just past subscribers long gone. But I think your vlogs are pretty cool. I like your vlogs. Oh, thank you. My dad just bought a light, so now I'll be able to record whenever I can. Because before, I was only able to record on specific times of day where it wasn't noisy and the light was still on. And I had to face the window. I... Actually, I think it was noticeable in the videos because you can see the reflection in my glasses that I was facing a window. <laughs> that's, that's still pretty awesome. Like, there's videos of people I watch and, like, a, a, a YouTuber I, I absolutely love, uh, Peter Hollins. Like, he does uh, lots of them. And you can see, like, a ring in his eyes from the lights. Yeah, that's, like, almost every single vlogger. Like, even Matthias, if you look at his eyes, you see rings of light. And stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, and I feel like every vlogger, you can see their lights in their eyes. Yeah. It's even worse for those of us who wear glasses because you know, you've got... <laughs> like, you got the eyes plus the glasses, you know, you got tricky... Yeah. You, you got, like, dimensions going on Everything on the eye. Yeah. It's like I'm going back going to contacts uh, soon, so I'll be able okay. to not do that. That's me, I'm contacts. <laughs> 
but I wear hipster glasses mm. all the time because <coughs> I love it. It's just my thing. I hope you know I have hipster glasses, but I'm not a hipster. But you're in the you're the, like in the process of converting me to hipster. Yep. It's what's, it's I, have, I have a beanie. It's your fault for asking me about a beanie. There's no going back. I have a beanie now. Um, <laughs> I have. I have, you know, printed teas. I've been to a, a, a coffee shop and done homework. Um, oh. <laughs> where do I I went I to a bar once to do homework. Oh, nice. And, no, because uh, my whole uh, block was with me, and they were telling me, like, hey, we should go out to the bar. And I said, sure. And I didn't have any money, so I couldn't buy drinks, so I just shared with a friend. And I was doing homework, and one of my classmates from English class who is a regular patron there saw me and they just like locked eyes and then immediately looked away because I'm actually underage so I don't know if I should be talking about this guys do not drink do not underage drink be in the presence of uh, respectable responsible adults when you drink yeah and and if you are able to you know drink and are of age drink responsibly don't text and drive don't drink um, and drive. That's the most important. Don't drink and drive. Too. I don't know. I, I was just thinking about a bunch of PSAs. Um, this is your PSA right now. Uh, don't play near trains. Don't. Uh, don't uh, run with scissors. In the toilet. Just play the don't, app. Uh, uh, dumb ways to die. Just play that app, and it would just. That's yeah. your whole PSA. Yeah. yeah. Watch. Watch. <laughs> oh, that, that took Next me back question. to whatever that was. Next question. We're going to call this section of the podcast the best of 2015. Because oh, a whole dear. bunch of people wants to just know, like, random stuff. Like, what comments do you recommend for your fans? Or from, like, all of us can answer it. So, make what it... What comments? Like, uh, okay. comics. Let me... Uh, uh, comics? Oh... Try, time, time to think about all the family-friendly ones. Um, well, there's, well, there's this one that I love. It's I don't know if it's still going on. Um, it's Tobias and Guy. It, it, it's a large contributor to uh, my Hira Yeth story. It's a story of this uh, gay guy named um, Guy <laughs> who really wanted a boyfriend. So a devil named Tobias came to him, and he fell in love with him. And it's funny, and really gay, and kind of stupid. Like, it's like a ridiculous kind of uh, comic series with no... Like, it doesn't have like a discernible plot, but it's like very, very cute. Um, that sounds like just my type of thing. Yeah, <laughs> Tobias so. is guy. Great. I forgot who it's by, but uh, you should find it on Google very easily. Uh, it's, it, has, it has a really big fandom. You, you read my mind. <laughs> uh, Al- Altered Comics is one of my favorite places to look at because he's such a funny guy. And that's where I had the idea for my triangle noses. A lot of people think that my triangle noses are from Animal Crossings, but I've never played that game. So, Actually, I think it's just really easier to draw noses that way. Yeah, because that's always the first thing I know is with a triangle noise. A no. Can't speak today. Noses. I was going to say noises. I'm like, what? New Jersey accent. So but, they're, they're, uh, oh, you're from New Jersey. Oh, no. I'm from Kentucky. No. But, but yeah, we're both from Kentucky. Yeah, we're both from Kentucky. I don't know why I have a New Jersey accent right now, but yeah. Easy. Like, <laughs> um, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. That, that That's us. Horses. Yeah. I've been, I've been to New York before, and uh, we were in the borderlines of New Jersey and New York. So uh, these two kinds of people kind of meet there, and my mom was trying to order uh, food, and she could not understand anybody. Like I had to be at her side all the time because I was the only one in the family who could understand different accents. Yeah, in New York, yeah. you need to understand like all the accents and stuff like that. Like when people say huge, they would say huge, and then then just like that's true. It was really my favorite comments of this year. I go on typepastic.com, and that's how I found all the comments and stuff like that. I love this one comment called "Bite Me," and it's by Effective Mind. Mm-hmm. That and then it's just about it's like it's a it's a really jump into the conclusion type of comic book. Could okay. it be like a girl? 
goes to high school. And then the boy was like, the boy seemed like one of those vampires, like, oh, I don't want to kill anymore and stuff like that. He seems like that when you read it. And then, you know, he bites the girl at nighttime and stuff like that. And now, now they're just in a relationship together because it's normal, apparently. Well. I'm like, well, okay. Well. Oh, yeah, you just plot twisted and just everything, like, jumped so fast. But I love it, though. And kids, that was the story of how I met your mother. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bit her in the alley, and that's how I met her. <laughs> and then another... Another comment, a uh, comment is socializing one on one, cause it it just it feels like me, like it's just about a guy who's antisocial and meets a guy a girl that's very social, and then they meet each other and it's just all this craziness and then like every single chapter is like, it's just like little things to make him more social, like how to control your anger, how to spend time with your family, and just these comic books. Uh. It's just like it's just funny. Yeah, mm. those kind of uh, sort of rom-com kind of comics where there are two different uh, characters, like opposing personalities. Those are like, those never fail. That's the thing about comics is that sometimes some comics have just like mediocre plots, but they are so foolproof. Especially if you pander to a certain fandom, they're so foolproof that you know it's going to get views. That's why here I am. Um, although I love doing Here I F, um, honestly more than I like doing Rooftop because Here I F is solely mine. Rooftop was a uh, fanfic by someone else, a uh, user named Galaxy Ghost. She doesn't tell me her real name, but it's like it's my baby, but it's not just my baby, if that makes sense to you. Well, then again, I suppose that babies aren't only yours specifically, you're supposed to have another parent, but that's. That's not a part of my metaphor, okay? <laughs> um, anyways, the thing about foolproof comics like Rooftop was that you know it's gonna do well. Uh, Here I F was a shot in the dark, per se. I didn't know it was gonna do well. I didn't know if people were gonna respond to it. So far, it's been pretty great. Of course, it's nothing like Rooftop. Rooftop gets like 18,000 views and at best Here I F gets 2,000, which is a fair amount, but... I don't complain. I mean, I, I do, but you won't hear me complaining, <laughs> so... I'm incriminating myself. Next next question! Oh, oh, oh Nikki, wait. do you want to answer? Who didn't, um, who didn't answer yeah, it? My, who didn't answer yeah. it? Uh, me, hello! My favorite comic hello. is actually one that has its own website. It's Ava's Demon. Yes! Uh, by Michelle... Oh. I cannot pronounce that last name. It's... I'm a try. Sajeskowski? Like, well, I'm Michelle. gonna put pictures of all our comics. Like, yeah, Ava Demon, so and it, it has really good art, and it has a really, really good plot. You, it's been going on for a long time. Yeah. like these are really the. It's a really detailed comic. It's like yeah, me, you, me and Mickey had like a rating. Like before we started the YouTube channel, we just like yeah. read it. And, and you know, and we, a couple people got bored with it. Like a couple of our friends were like, "We're tired of reading this. It's not going anywhere." I'm like, "I promise you, if you wait just two more chapters, you have no idea where this is gonna go. Yeah. This, it, it's gonna go to insanity." Um, is this? Yeah. So I really like it. That that's one of my favorites. My, one of my uh, friends who now is like is like in training to become an artist she like sent that to me and she's like hey look at this so our next best of question oh uh, i should say that these questions are coming by freak of the week f this is all of her questions and they just all Fre fit for Fre freak of the week yeah <laughs> that's that's true i i love her yeah you go by us we're phantom freaks you're part of us now but yeah, we're, we're claiming you. Yeah, you're, you're ours now. <laughs> sorry, but our the next question is like we're we're just gonna say let's say two of this. We're gonna our top five YouTube OTPs, but we're gonna say top six because that's math. YouTube OT YouTube OTPs. Yes, like Ooh, real ones. Are, I'm gonna say real ones are non-existent ones. Two of us uh. each gets one. Oh, right, two. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Are we allowed to uh, repeat? Yeah. Or no? Yeah, we can repeat. Or no? I feel like we could repeat. Okay. Who wants to go first? Who should go first? Not it. 
<laughs> Not it. Matthias and Amanda. Oh, to be always. Oh, that is such oh, a cheat. That's not a cheat. They legit are my OT. No, a cheat would be pranks versus pranks. <laughs> People, oh, they well, would be yeah. a cheat. But I, yeah, like I'm not a huge fan of them. But they're there. But no, I'm, they're, it's Matthias and Amanda. They're like cutest ever. Love them forever. Um, another one. It was really hard. I had one in my head and I lost them. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm sure. Uh huh. I'm sure. She's just so clouded by Matthias and Amanda that she can't think of anything else. I can't get it. OTP, their relationship goes. They're too cute. Okay, I'll go next <laughs> since she's taking forever. Well, um, there's also chill chaos in Jess. I knew the second I do that, oh, yeah. she'd come up with one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. All right, wait. Okay. For sure. For sure. Her. All right, I'm gonna go now. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I'm gonna say one. Okay. I already said my two. Oh, we're saying two. Okay. Uh, of course, Tiki. Um. Hey now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. I agree. That, that was gonna be my answer, but okay. <laughs> oh, <darn. laughs> um, and uh, Markiplier and Tiny Box Tim. I never thought of them being a YouTuber. Okay. okay. What? But, okay. Tiny Box is not a YouTuber, but we're, we let us slide. We're gonna let us slide. I, I have I don't I ship hope. I don't ship real people. <laughs> but the the people that I said was actually real relationships. I I know. Yeah. But I, <laughs> well, I know what everyone wants me to say, so I won't say it. Say but just it. know what I'm thinking about. We all know who she's thinking. Is I would really say. <laughs> Uh, I made a comic about it. That doesn't, that's not fair. It's a given. <laughs> it's a part of who I am. It's like an unspoken answer. Um, I would say... Jack's films and his girlfriend, Erin. Yes. Mostly because... Mostly because yes. they're just such a like couple. And because Jack is such, like... He's a person that you don't want to like, but you just end up liking. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I love how much and, they, they, they pretend they, they, like, they hate each other. Like, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your forehead. Um, I do not pass the forehead. Yeah. Remind you I'm of anybody, Taylor? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, continue. I'm sorry. Uh, and Hangrid, Hannah Hart and Ingrid Nielsen, who is a canon couple. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh wait, I'll I'll say one. Uh, you can add one. I'd say Troiler. I'm uh, Dang it, you took mine! <laughs> oh wow, mind readers! Say Tron! <laughs> right. What? Uh, Say Tron. Maybe that could be a cute dog named Troner. <laughs> Troner. Oh, that would be cute, Troner. I'd name so, mine okay, after Harry name, Potter. Okay, dog name ideas. Let's, let's keep a counter of the dog name ideas we come up in between this live stream. You have Tiki, you have <gasps> Troner. Our two dog too. All two. What? Oh, oh, it's actually funny because the other idea that we had that my dad's kind of in love with is calling him Jabba the Pug. Oh, <gasps> oh my god. But I don't know, because like, J I, I would actually for Java, like coffee or the <laughs> internet term Java, Java the yeah. Pug. But I'm, I don't know, I'm not in love with the name. I was thinking mm. of calling it Machi. Oh, Machi sounds cool. I think I say it because we don't know what gender it's going to be yet. <laughs> hey, it, come here. Uh, you. Uh, you. you. Do, do, thing you. with the ears. <laughs> you with the cute, adorable face. Get over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to oh. skip a couple of these questions because we kind of already answered May them. I pose a question? Do you want to pose a question? May I? You want to say a question? Go no. ahead. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because I actually posted my tweet on DeviantArt if you guys weren't aware. And oh, that's what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> that's what you're looking at. Okay, because um, where is it? Where is it? I'm here and I'm queer. Yesterday, <laughs> asked 
<laughs> what homosexual situation have you been in? Yes, I was gonna ask you that. <laughs> wait, okay. w- w- wait, repeat the question. <laughs> Most homosexual situation you've been in? Um, oh, uh, I can actually answer this. I have played a gay girl on stage. Oh. Um, and I, and we had we had to do the performance uh, several nights in a row, so I had to kiss the girl. Yeah. Um, oh. And I thought, like, you know, I thought it was gonna be a kiss on the lips. I was like, okay, I'm fine with this. Yeah, I'm an actor. I do this all the time. It uh-huh. it's actually more awkward for me to kiss a guy if that makes any sense. Um, but they like, no, we want to do a forehead kiss. Like a lip kiss is like too much. I'm like, That's okay, fine, whatever out. you want. That's a pop out. <laughs> I know. I was like, eh, whatever you guys want. I mean, I'm the one doing the kissing, so I don't really care. Um, well. So I guess that's I guess that's the closest. Well, I mean, my most homosexual experience is with Mickey on stage. <gasps> oh yeah, I did play another. Game yes, you did. <laughs> with me, who was half naked on stage, just dancing and singing. Why? No, I'm sorry. Te- wouldn't you technically? Be I don't with- think this is family friendly, you guys. Just wouldn't saying. It technically, be with Savannah, who had to run out in a bathrobe. <laughs> I I had to run out in a bath. Oh yeah, that was Savannah had to run out with a blanket. I was just wearing a robe with booty shorts and a tank top, <laughs> dancing on a table, singing "Take Me or Leave Me" by Rent. Oh, nice! Yeah, and I was, uh, and it was really funny because I sang the, the 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 one music sung by the black girl, and she sang the one by the white girl. Yeah, <laughs> so we just really switched. Because I was very flamboyantly excited. Yeah, I was like, I'll did. do it. Cause like, I mean, I even got dipped. Like, it was it was impressive. And I, I dropped was, her. I was wowed. It was, it was when I first felt that. Tiki was real. Um. Oh. It's a wonderful story. I say all of this because I know Taylor's gonna kill me. Yes. Um. Yes, he's coming over tomorrow. She's gonna kill me. I'm excited for that Bean Boozle challenge. I'm excited for it. Aw, oh, shit. Bean Boozled. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Video oh, that's next uh, week. I, how? How? How did they come up with those flavors? I would like to know. And at the same uh, time, actually, I from Harry Potter, I feel like no, like how they get it into a jelly bean. That's some sick, twisted I feel scientists. Has to have <laughs> Speaking someone, about witchcraft, playing a story. part of things. R two D two, don't fall over. Sorry, I have a big plush R two D two. I'm talking to. Um. Nice. Oh, okay. and, dang uh, it. I wish I could uh, say like a joke, but I'm afraid it doesn't translate well. Because Bito in Filipino means here. So it's like a, like you bring R2D2 close to you, it's R2D2. And then you put it away, it's r 2 doon which means there. And ugh, it's only funny in Filipino, damn it. So <laughs> like, I swear, I have so much um, bilingual jokes that I wish I could say in vlogs that no one would understand. This you would think that my audience is mainly Filipino because I'm Filipino, but actually it's mostly Americans. Just hide it in there and see if somebody gets it. Yeah. Be your thing. Nah. nah. <laughs> my, I mean, my. You can uh, have, like, your bilingual joke of the day. Yes. <laughs> bilingual joke of the day. Most of my bilingual jokes are pickup lines, and uh, I wish it could uh, translate well. Ooh, hey. I really like this Anytime, question. Anytime, baby. I really like this question. Yeah. What's your stereotype? Like emo preppy jock. <laughs> just, I don't think you can ask about like, hey guys, can't you see my rippling muscles and my um, heterosexuality? <laughs> so, like, God, I love that question. I don't it's think just... anyone on YouTube can claim to be the jock stereotype. Markiplier. No. 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 Gonna... <laughs> no, baby. No. I'm just kidding. I mean, I, Joey Graceffa comes close. Joey Graceffa comes close. Mm. In my I opinion. I say Team I Edge comes close. Oh, the guys yeah. on Team Edge. Not Matthias. Brian. Oh, Brian. I don't, I don't know what it is about Brian. Maybe it's because he's the underdog, but I'm just like, yes, let Brian win. <laughs> yeah, I always feel bad because Brian just don't have a lot of points at the moment, what I calculate it. Okay, wait. So I've been recently watching their videos, and I still have no idea which one's who. Um, I know Matthias, and that's about it. Jayford is his brother, and uh, okay. Oh, Brian, Brian okay. is the only one of the different race. Okay, got it. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I, <laughs> I was like, once you said brother, I went, oh, okay, I know which one. Well, is. I saw the video, the duct tape challenge, and I saw when it was taping J. Fred and Brian, I was like, where's Matthias? And then, I thought so and then finally, just, and then they turned. Because J. Fred is I so tall. Little hat. Both of them are tall. I saw a little hat. Yeah, so I was like, <laughs> Matthias, what is happening? Baby, we're, we're Baby. positioning like, ever. Why That's why so they put short? Markiplier towards the front. Yeah, because he's... Because, like, he I... Because I, I, like, I did meet Markiplier. I didn't get his autograph back. I didn't meet him. Because I was mad. That's still pretty awesome. Yeah, That's close I, enough. I, I, and he's not that short. He's my height, and I'm 5'8". He's not oh. that... He's not oh, that well, short. Screw, screw you guys. I'm out. Oh. Bye. <laughs> what? Oh, I, 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 I'm five two. Oh. But actually, five two is very tall in my country. I I I kind of want to hug you and then use you as a as Just a lean. Just hug Victoria. She's the same lean. height. <laughs> I know. I I love to mess with people who are shorter than me for one big gigantic reason. Most of them all will kill me on sight. Um. <laughs> Ne never cross short people. Short people will fuck you up. Yeah. Exactly. And so I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to mess with them because they know and I know that they can mess me up. They're not short. <laughs> They're fun size. <laughs> fun size. Fun size. Yeah, fun size. As in, if you don't say they're fun size, they're going to shank you. Um. Speaking about fun, cat double T. Cats. 209 asks, what's your favorite game or games? Town Asylum. <laughs> oh, really? Because uh, we, like, we have like 50 videos though. I love Portal and Pac-Man and the Binding of Isaac. Favorite Those games. are my top three. Well, um, Mortal Kombat is going to be up there because like I enter competitions to do Mortal Kombat and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's one. Oh, favorite Mario Kart. Game. I am a boss. Oh, take me on. Take me on. I would I will love beat you. In more ways than one. You don't know. I would you guys have you. fun with that because Mickey knows about I'm glad that, Mario Kart. I'm glad that we have this conversation right after I asked what the most hom homosexual situation we've been in was. Because <laughs> if I didn't answer. I don't know if you guys know this, but I didn't answer specifically yeah. because every moments every waking moment of my life is the most homosexual situation i've been in but <laughs> this, this is an exception i'll say this situation ha, uh so town of salem mortal kombat anything else from you guys uh, uh life is strange yo <laughs> life but, is strange i love that um, episodic the episodic uh, i'm gonna say something um the, the lego games for harry potter and and, and uh star wars Embrace and it, we girl. just like let it out. Don't, like, I, oh, don't be man. ashamed of it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get shamed, but yeah, I like those. You know, you destroy things. I like the lightsabers because I'm like, yes, I get to battle things and be a lightsaber, and I'm dead. That's okay, because like if you're dead, you don't get game overs. You just lose money, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm gonna check on your Twitter and see if there's any more questions on Twitter. Oh dear. Someone asks, uh, Gen Toast, you getting super drunk on New Year's? You bet I am. Again, I do not uh, encourage underage drinking, but I have a problem, so back off. I, I, have, a, I have a funny answer to this. Um, as many of our viewers know, but probably none of yours, um, I have a my my stomach hates me, um, and so do my intestines. I, basically, everything from my head to my ankles hates me. Um, so there's a lot of foods I can't eat, and I can't even have soda. Yeah, like oh. or everything caffeine. in my house. Everything in my house could kill her, and I'm like, so that's why I <laughs> yeah. have to tell her that she has Sh to bring her bring, own snack. Yes, do I need to bring snack. a lunch tomorrow? Yes, please bring your lunch tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'll bring a lunch tomorrow. Everything's gonna kill you tomorrow. Um, and so, um, my joke is that I cannot handle Sprite. What makes you think I can handle alcohol? <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I, I can't even have sparkling. Like, you know that, like, sparkling cider people oh, drink on oh. New Year's that makes it look like champagne? Poor I, child. I, I let that touch my tongue, and that's about it. And I, like, had the wide-eyed look, like, oh my gosh, what is this feeling? There's bubbles! Was this feeling so sudden? Like, I, knew, I knew the moment I laid eyes on you. 
I my have what Markiplier has. My so head is really. I can never get <laughs> drunk or drink. Oh, oh, oh you have that. Uh, the thing is a thing. I have never experienced Asian me. glow. I know Markiplier yeah. does because I've noticed him being pinker in his drunk Minecraft videos. But personally, I've never experienced that. I don't turn red. <laughs> Unless I go, you know, Hulk. I'm actually the Red Hulk. Uh, mm. Low-key <laughs> identity that I have um, in my spare time. I have, a, I have a long fuse, and I played the Wicked Witch of the West in a play, so people call me She-Hulk sometimes. Nice! <laughs> actually, it's a funny thing you mentioned having a, uh, having a, a tricky appetite or digestion problems. Because as a kid, I could not... I was allergic to so many things. I was allergic to citrus fruits, which include like lemons and oranges. I couldn't eat. Oh yeah, I can't have citrus now, honey. <laughs> I was I was allergic to egg, to mayonnaise, oh. to uh, so many things. But eventually, I You're started missing out on the mayonnaise. Yeah, I could. I recovered eventually. But and what what needed to be done was that I had to reintegrate these foods into my life. But for whatever reason, my parents forgot to reintroduce me to egg. So, I'm not technically allergic to egg, but I'm psychologically allergic, which means I, I, if I, like, I ate a sandwich once, and was like, oh, it's an okay sandwich, something tastes strange, but I didn't really comment on it. But then someone said, like, oh, hey, I thought you were allergic to egg, and then suddenly, I threw up. <laughs> like, it, it didn't bother me until I knew that it was there. Like the placebo a, effect? A little bit. That's but, the same way with me and, um, like, tobacco. Like, if... So my smokes around me, I just break out because I like my doctor said it's just in my head, but I'm not really allergic to it. So, but I tell people I'm allergic to it because of that. Yeah. Speaking about head, um. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wish I picked a better segue, but no, I love your segue. That's the best segue. Yeah. Um. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I I saw a question, but never mind. How is was your day today? It was great. Who is that from? Um, that was from Vocaloid Nerd. Right. Vocaloid Dash Nerd. I had a long day at work, but it was okay. It's been a long day. Um, I got to go shopping. Um, Basic. I got I got a col I got a new coloring book. Um, like, ad you know, those adult, adult coloring, coloring books, books that, like, um, that, like, are, like, meditation and, like, are, like, for calm, for calm and all that. I got one of those, and I got, I got a Star Wars one, um, mm. because I'm a nerd, and I have love it. Have you watched Force Awakens yet, both of you? Yes, I have, and I loved it. Not um, in the Star Wars fandom. Wonderful, uh, wonderful. And so, I mean, my day was pretty good. I got to sleep in. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so... I got I got some more sleep. Woke up and talked to Taylor, which you know is always a highlight, right, baby? Don't call me that. <laughs> this is always how it is. Um, how so, do you yeah, guys spell favor? Do you guys spell favor with a U? I'm sorry, what? Favorite. Do you spell, do you spell, do you spell favor with a U? Because we don't. Um, I mean, I could go both ways. In more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yes, I was hoping you would make And that as joke. a segue to that, Amr, <laughs> Amr Hazik2002 asked if I was dating someone. Is it me or Happy? Oh yeah, we, 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 she, she already asked me a question a while ago, but am I dating someone? And she adds, I know it's Azuni-chan, but can you confirm it? Huh, can I confirm it? Are you gonna confirm it? Is this gonna be an exclusive mm. interview to confirm it? <gasps> and then I just saw a picture of a cat or something. <laughs> that dramatic. Well, well, one more dramatic gasp. Uh, I'm not dating anyone, and the reason Aww. I'm not dating anyone is because I don't. I have trouble being with someone for more than uh, 20 hours. So I don't know how that translates to in dating. I actually would like to believe, I would like to believe that I can juggle relationships. 
not in a cheating way, okay? I'm talking about consensual. So it's me like and po- like a, a. I'm trying to think of Yes, that's it. Oh, yes, I w- that that would be the dream for me, to be honest, to be in a polyamorous relationship. Uh, I think some people already know this. Uh, it's just that I believe that there are just so many beautiful and wonderful, handsome, intelligent, interesting, passionate people out there that I can't tie myself down to just one. And if I do, um, it would be great. But uh, as for Azuni-chan, um, how do I feel about Azuni-chan? Azuni-chan was... Uh, I met her in DeviantArt after I saw one of her artworks were blogged by Jacksepticeye and I saw that she was Filipino just like me and I was like oh hey how are you that's really great uh, I like your work and then she was fangirling I didn't know that she was a big fan of mine and she's actually older than I am by a year she's 18 years old <sighs> oldie just like you guys yes. no friends no well, wait no I'm the 17 same like you, you. Ten okay years older wait in, so, yeah, in, what, lady. in I'm what, on your side I'm on your side in what month 17 of what month uh, February. Oh, uh, you're older than me. Okay. August. I'll go back on the Taylor side. Don't come back yeah. over here. I'm actually physically moving, even though no one can see me. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> you can hear me moving. Yeah, I was just like... <laughs> That's yeah. against the wall. <laughs> but anyways, um, how do I feel about Azuni-chan? She's a wonderful person. I love her to death. Do I want to bang her? Hmm... If the moment presents itself, I would like to believe. You heard it here now, folks. Live on the podcast. <laughs> live? <laughs> oh, live, live on the pre-recorded she's probably gonna be podcast. Mad at me if, she's probably going to be mad at you when she sees this. Because uh, the relationship between you two guys is similar to my relationship with Azuni-chan. Except a little bit more gay because we're actually both bisexual. Well, um, I don't know if I am bisexual or if I'm pansexual. But let's just say... Uh, I'm bisexual because it's less letters. <laughs> to be honest, I would guess she was pan before bi. Woo! But anyways, uh, we are Facebook friends because my Facebook account is public to anyone from Demon Art who wants to add me. So, which, by the way, if anyone's listening right now who wants to add me on Facebook, my Facebook name is Maria Mediarito, and a lot of people think it's Mediarito, but it's actually Meja, like with a J. That actually, okay. Right, that I, I'm. I'll, I'll touch up on that story later. But me and Azumi Chan, uh, I'm not allowed to tell you her real name. She specifically doesn't want people to know her real name. But me and Azumi, we're friends on Facebook, and um, we flirt with each other a lot in front of our mutual friends, in front of my relatives, which is a little weird. But I don't care. Uh, what was the conversation we were having? It was like. Um, she was calling me like her rabbit child, and I'm like, huh, more like your playboy bunny, am I right? And she was all like, dude, you're such, oh god, you're like a humping dog. And I'm like, I don't mind being your pretty little bitch. And then after that, she just didn't talk to me for like a couple of days. I'm like, <laughs> sounds legit. <laughs> yeah, we, we're tight, I would like to believe. That's but so we weird. live very far away from each other. It would take a plane ride and a very long bus ride to see each other. Aww. But this is a car. <laughs> yeah. I think. Oh, so lucky. All right. Um, it's not a question. I just want to say that you're beautiful and awesome and inspirational. And please don't kill yourself. You said that you tried to commit suicide six times throughout the year. Just don't. Okay. Oh, sorry. Just don't. Okay. I. It was in all caps. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you think that I don't understand you because I'm 13 years old after all, but I do, trust me. It's hard to find creative people nowadays, and you're one of those people. I hope you realize that there are many people that need you. Your family, your fans, me, and Azuni-chan. I ship it! I ship it too! (laughs) I ship it now too. Maybe next time we can bring Azuni-chan on, and then we can just uh, flirt with each other. Just don't flirt with me. Uh, I'll flirt with you, baby. No. Yes! I didn't say now, that. because that wasn't a question, I won't uh, say anything about it. But uh, I, 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 I say this too many times. But people should know by now how grateful I am for the people that I have in my life. And I don't want to turn this into like 
too emotional. So because of that, I'm gonna skip ahead. I love you, by the way. Um, Amr has you, you get 2002. To... Um, and you get are you going to for me that soon? Mwah. I, Mwah. I swear, I had like. Uh, seven different people asking me if I'm gonna update rooftop soon, and the answer is yes and also no. Next question. Yes and no. What? <laughs> but also no. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. Explain. What does that mean? I, I mean, I have free time, but the creative process of making a rooftop is a difficult one to bring. I mean, I've had the rooftop script done for the past month. Uh, it changes every now and then, but most, mostly, it's the same. Like it's. It's already laid out. There's nothing that can just pop up all of a sudden. And although there's only two pages left, I just want to let people wait. If people want it, they have to wait. For it. So, <laughs> I mean, through maybe. But next question. Uh, New Year's related question. Finally, a New Year's related question. How do you celebrate New Year? Any country slash family traditions? We have... Uh, fireworks problem here a fireworks problem here in the philippines because so many people use illegal fireworks and this is a sensitive topic actually well not that sensitive but because uh we have two popular uh illegal firecrackers which is goodbye philippines and goodbye world because it's a very big explosive is what i'm trying to say but just recently they came out with a new uh explosive uh, firecracker called Hello Colombia as a salute to uh, us beating Colombia in Miss Universe. And might Ooh. I just say, you guys, oh. up. Like, I, like, it was, when I saw it, I was kind of amused for all of two seconds before I got really offended. Because, like, okay, uh, the Philippines won Miss Universe and Miss Globe. And we won Miss World last year, but we also won like worst traffic, yeah. worst internet connection speed. Like, c- calm the fuck down, you guys. <laughs> like, we're okay, but we're not like superior. Y'all won best science in math area. Y'all beat us. Yeah. yeah. You go. Phil- ah, we have you guys. Don't you guys be the fattest the people. <laughs> you guys know where the Philippines is, just asking. Like I won't be offended. Uh, yeah, you know it. it's um yes, it's it. it <laughs> yes, if, it's, it's, if, it's, if I say it, if, if I say yes, and now I get it wrong, I'm gonna look like a complete okay. idiot. But I'm gonna try. I think you're above New Zealand, right? No, no. I thought she. Okay, you're more, I'm no, you're, more, you're more south because the only reason I remember because of Magellan going around the world, but they didn't make it because he got stopped by the Phil- in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only and way. That's the only way I remember because you're halfway is. there, but you're more south. That's mm, a- Southeast Asia. There you go. I may, New Zealand, may not by the way, is looking. in the other side of the world. Are you looking it up? You looking up a map, we, aren't you? I'm gonna yeah, pop up a map I'm, right I'm, now. I'm, I'm looking it up on a map. <laughs> yes, Actually, I am. Actually, um, a little Filipino history for you guys. We were conquered by Spanish, the Spaniards, for 300 years for such a long time. So, and it took us a very oh. long revolution to be able to overcome it. So, most of our national language, which is uh, Filipino, actually, our national language is Filipino and English. We have two national languages, but our Filipino, most of the words there come from Spanish places. So, I do know a little bit of Spanish, but I'm very, very rusty. I so found the Philippines. I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Uh, what I, are I know your, where you are now. Where are your goals this coming year? Hmm. Uh, if I stay alive, that would be great. The Same. apocalypse amongst us. Um, and zombies uh, is happening next year. Zombies. <laughs> it's gonna be those zombies gonna come get us. Carl, give me my gun. What? <laughs> stealing our jobs, taking, taking our resources. <laughs> A little off, um, a little off uh, topic, but what's your favorite zombie movie? Because my favorite zombie movie uh, is Zombieland. Same. I was gonna say that. Oh my god. Um. Okay. I I, t- time to time to confess. I actually haven't seen a zombie movie. Um. I saw I'm just. Land. I haven't seen Zombieland. I swear. Um, have you seen it? No, I haven't. I I just now got into the horror film industry. Well, you know, That's um. 
I haven't seen. Or you can watch Fantastic yet. Four. That's the real horror. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back, yeah. Um, I don't know what that was. Um, <laughs> but um, I guess in Super Eight, at the very end, they show the the zombie movie that the kids have been shooting the whole time. I thought that was kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want horror movies that are like scary but horrorish, you can watch Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Final Destination. <laughs> Final Destination is just a cringe movie because he's just like, I hope that thing doesn't be like, kill me. Like, I was afraid to come outside for a whole week because I was like, everyone will kill me. Those guys just literally <laughs> stepped outside, stepped on a snake, to make sure you know, like, sticks just flew at him and just killed him. I'm like, where did sticks come from? <laughs> okay! <laughs> you know, Taylor, you're gonna walk outside your house one day and I'm gonna throw sticks at you just because you've said this. And I'm gonna film it. Like, stop it, sticks! I'm gonna die! <laughs> die and turn back into a zombie. What's so from Marcy Lodz? Uh, C R A I C A. L-A-C, so what's your favorite writing of 2015? My favorite, favorite what? Writing. What? Like, writing? Writing? Writing, writing, like books, fan fiction, poetry. Oh, uh, uh, of 2015? Like, yeah, it has to be... Yeah, let's all one. Yeah, 2015 has to be here. Oh my god, I just remembered uh, something, and then I realized it was the most inappropriate thing to say. So, um, I'll skip the question. <laughs> There is this uh, writer in an archive of our own named Ben Dover. Now, <laughs> I know. I, I think I know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I think you, I do. I, anyone is above the age of 18 and listening right now, I do recommend you send it to a friend. Don't read it yourself, but send it to a friend and say it's good. That's that's all. Haha! -ha. I found a book. That has to be my favorite writing of this year um my favorite is uh sarah cross her um bow rivage series um it, it's kind of like a uh, a take on a modern but um like modern fairy tales but they still have the old like really gruesome part of it so like the stepsisters of Cinderella do still have to take like chop off their heels or chop off their toes or try to fit into the shoe and like all that stuff is still very real and it's, it's kind of it's kind of cool to see like this you know 21st century you know when you've got like you, you know you have phones and, and, and earbuds and you have rock music and you have all this but you also have like these fantasies and like, this you know, the, the fairy tales that you've read as a child but turned dark um, as they originally were intended, you know, kind of clashing together. And I, that's like my personal, what I personally love, because I love fantasy, I love um, stuff like that. Like, like my, that's my favorite genre. Like, but I read fantasy all day, all night. That's my favorite thing to read. So putting those things together just makes me happy inside. Uh, I'm just gonna say was... my favorite fandom. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite fandom is the two real. That's all I got to say. I can't pick a writing, a, a writing or fan fiction because they're all from the same genre as Victuvia. If you guys don't know what it is, it's a nice little, it's a uh, alternate universe created by Gabby. She's a junior novelist, and, and it's a world created by, for steampunk YouTubers. And, just anything, you can create your own character in it, write your own fan fictions about it, just make sure you follow yeah. the rules of it. But I love the way you have people write it, the drama that went on it, and I just, it's my favorite piece of fandom writing things I love to read because people like update it like every single day. You, you won't go out with a day without reading a new story about it. That's a wonderful. There's nothing easier to kill the fandom than an inactive fandom, uh, inactive fanfiction base. Yeah. Like about, something new. Speaking about fans, favorite bands or singer asks Emily Dash 212. Fall Out Boy! Fall Out Boy? What, uh, wait, 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 boy what, what was the question? I was City! In 21 oh, Pilots! Oh man! What, what, what was the yeah, question? Yeah, actually 21 Pilots, uh, she says, is her favorite band. Yes! Uh, my favorite anymore. band is Fall Out Boy. Yeah. Uh, Panic at yeah. the Disco. Oh, yes, Panic. Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco. 
Can I, I guess that you also like My Chemical Romance? Um, I do not. I'm gonna get so much hate for this, but not as much. Hmm. To be honest, I do not. Um, d does, um, does an artist who composed a really good musical count? No. <laughs> Lin-Manuel Miranda! Just to get that out there. He, he wrote Hamilton, and if you haven't heard the soundtrack to Hamilton, listen to it. It'll change your life. It's a bunch of old stuffy men rapping, but it's not an old stuffy anymore because he like revamped it. So it's like, you know that history book that's stuffy? Guess what? You can toss it out the window because Hamilton's here. <laughs> but my, oh, top, yeah. my top two favorite like of this year is Our City and Nate Wants to Battle. Because they're oh, Nate! Nate! Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Fan girling over here. Oh my gosh, uh, he's coming to Indie PopCon, and I'm gonna be. Yes, him. That's, 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 that doesn't mean much to me because I can't even go. So go, <laughs> just travel. I can't. It, 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 it's halfway across the world. You say you're gonna travel to America? Do it then. On August, when's Indie PopCon? June. Dang it. Change your summer. I can't. <laughs> I actually don't have. I have summer classes, so I have a very limited time to spend there. Change your spring. We don't have spring. Oh, whoa. You don't have a spring break? No. Wow, I guess that is an American thing. Oh, uh... I guess it is. Oh, no. Well, it, it, yeah, it, it's probably good that's just an American yeah, thing. Yeah, it probably given, is good. That's... Given what happens down on coast when girls just take the tops off and go, Woo! Woo! Coachella! No way of summer. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, is that? I don't know if that if that's the same timeline. <laughs> no, they usually just go spring break, spring break. and wiggle their boobs. Spring uh. breakers. <laughs> Never watched the movie, but I heard it was uh, it has a deeper meaning. What deep meaning? You get drunk and hope you don't get kidnapped. <laughs> but then Wait, isn't that just taken? For, about forever <laughs> lasting. <laughs> taken. <laughs> Oh, I don't know who you are, but I will find you, and then we will have a tea party. A Boston tea party. <laughs> Speaking about taken and um, not and not letting your daughter go out and watch YouTube <laughs> and thus get kidnapped in Paris, Polygon Toast asks: Any big regrets in your life so far? Every waking moment. <laughs> every Damn, wake every time I wake up in the morning and walk into Walmart, that's my regret. Um, I've only been to Walmart um, once in my whole life. I've, because that's the only time I've been. Because we don't have Walmart here. Huh. We have Walter Mart. Walter Mart? Which is kind of... Yeah, some guy named Walter made his own... I mean, I don't know if it's directly supposed to be like a ripoff or if it's just a guy... <laughs> Who had the last name Walter and decided, hey, let's call it Walter Mart. Original. But we have a Walter Mart here. We don't have a Walmart. That's beautiful. Um, one thing I regret. I do like Target when I was there. Target's pretty great. Any big regrets in my life? So far? Any big regrets in my life or just this year? In, in your this life. Year. Uh, in, oh, if I say no, in my life. life time in my life uh, I think it was um, not being the first one to cut the cord of a friendship first uh, are you talking about your friend here because it no, was... no 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 yeah, it's me. <laughs> no it's me it's me no I uh, understand there was, who, there was a friend who was toxic for me um, yeah that's true and I, I, I stayed friends and with her them. name was John Cena shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um I wish I had been the first one to be like, you know what, we're done. But I didn't, and I wish I had. But you know what, what's done is done, and uh, no regrets. Regrets. No regrets. The biggest no regret of my life is ever liking Hannah Montana. <laughs> no, I really don't regret anything in my life because I feel like everything is. You said Walmart. <laughs> Shut up, I still work you there. You just said Walmart like 40 seconds ago. Shut up. <laughs> you cannot You said waking up every day of your life too, but we're not going back to the past. Just not talk about the past. It's a big regret of my life right there. You're right. Let's, <laughs> let, she's right. Let's not go back. 
go back to the past. Slovak girl asks, "What did what did you do on the 28th of December 2016, which was, oh. which is next year? What where do you see yourself That's uh, a very on? Day. Let's just say this day. On this day next year, where do you see yourself? Sitting in uh, my bed. My ex- on in a mirror. Would that uh, be? That would sitting be, in a- That'd be Wednesday for us. To Wednesday, uh, sitting in my bed, probably playing with something that I got for Christmas. On the computer. That sounds so wrong now that I say that out loud. Yes. Mm-hmm. Play it That's on the computer. Not it play the play new. The play in the new Telltale Batman game. Yeah. Yeah. Episode episode five, hopefully. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I see. <laughs> Hopefully, the channel's doing good. Oh yeah, yeah. I hope the channel's like you know getting. Hopefully, the more YouTube people. algorithm doesn't fuck up. Yeah, just hopefully that doesn't work. Somebody asked. I don't know where it is, but somebody asked about the whole YouTube rewind, and something. I, oh. Something I always notice on the YouTube Rewind, why they don't add animators to it, like, have them, like, draw a cartoon or something in it, and then they'd be like, oh. I suppose, I suppose because it would require too much, um, like, planning, for planning. But they'd be planning a lot, like, Markiplier said they recorded it in, um, in April. That's when they start recording yeah, like, for YouTube Rewind, Rewind is in April. That's true. So they, they, they like, have literally they like have a lot to of get months. people in and you know like Pentatonix had to like learn a, a, a song I mean it wasn't a hard song but they still had to learn it and then um, they try to get Jack in it but Jack said he couldn't make it that day yeah so I mean Nigahiga was supposed to be there but he was doing the cardboard video yeah yeah so I mean I eh, I whatever think, maybe I, next I think, year yeah, I, I feel like I feel like animators. Actually, Ross was in YouTube Rewind, wasn't he? R- uh, Rubber Ross from Game Grumps. Yes, I think so. And I was happy that I, I was happy that Game Theory made Matt Pat. <laughs> oh my god! I got so Game happy when Theory. I saw him. <laughs> I, was, I was laughing so hard at Markiplier's thing <laughs> with his whole. Also, I'm be I know those. for a fact that the ballerina skeleton was not Mark. Because his legs were longer, and Mark is a short, short man. Yes, oh. yes, I thought the same thing. Yes, oh. I'm, I'm gonna believe it was Mark just, just to make him feel better. Oh, oh. I'm not gonna have Markiplier shake me. <laughs> Let's go to Instagram. the sassiest man on Tumblr. See some mm. Instagram. I'll give him a run from his money. I'm pretty sassy. All right, we already answered that. We already answered that. What's your favorite junk food snack from Elizabeth Webb? <gasps> Jolly Ranchers. Boom. Sour Patch Kids. Popcorn. Cheese popcorn. Uh, just popcorn. I don't know. It's the saltiness. I'm sorry, okay? I panicked. Oh, gosh. If you were given $100 right now, no strings attached, what would you do with it? Yes. Yes. Buy books. Literally spend it on video That's games, fun. most likely. I mean, uh, those strings attached, uh, right? So I uh, just... You know what? I'm going to save it for a laptop. So I can game better and not have games that don't load on computers. I, I'm probably going to like spend on games. Use it on my Patreon. Because I'll ha- I actually support one person on Patreon. Like he was the first person I ever support, and I forgot all about that. I do support him. His name is uh, Raz, and he's an author. You guys will know more about him next week in next week's video. Next week. Next week on Benefits Production. Next. Next week on World News, a sports team lost something. A politician said something racist, and a young starlet was seen in something moderately revealing. And Donald Trump said something. And Justin nice. Bieber set a house on fire. Right back to you, Judy. 
And in sports, people are preparing for March Madness two months early. Oh, my birthday! Yeah! That's why I can't celebrate my birthday usually with my family, because it's always during March Madness. Always during Final I, Four. We will ce I will celebrate with you because I hate March Madness, so. Come celebrate with me. What is we March Madness? Fun. Oh. Oh, that is wonderful that you do not know. Yeah, it's, it is a, it's the most beautiful, best thing that you do not know what March Madness is. It is beautiful because it's this whole time, it's a whole month, where basically a bunch of college teams, right, college? College basketball teams. College basketball teams go head to head, and everyone's like, oh, this, these people are going to beat those people, and they make brackets and They're everything. Bad. There's, a, uh, there's a legit study for it. It's called Brachology they can study in college for. It, there's like a whole thing about it, and the entire the entire nation goes mad, especially Kentucky, since we have two teams, three teams, four teams. We have a lot of teams in it. We have, well, um, we have there's just two teams that we actually care about. And yeah, there's the whole two teams world, that we and, care about, and like we or are naturally pitted against each other. And a whole world, like, like technically, a whole country cares about it too. I don't know why we're that important, but everybody cares about Kentucky and Louisville so much. Yeah, they're like, oh, Kentucky and Louisville go against each other again. Oh, no. Oh, what's going to yeah, happen? Man. Who's going to I win? don't care. And if both of them's oh. out, then nobody doesn't care about the bracket anymore because both of them is yeah. gone. Yeah, like everyone's like, oh, Kentucky, UK. Go Duke. That's <laughs> literally what happened to the end. Go Duke. <laughs> it's actually really sad. I think sad my dad would disown me if that um, happened. It's actually really sad because my uh, school is actually very known for being very competitive in sports. That's actually what we're known for, our sports and our law. So uh, whenever people know that I'm from Ateneo, which is my uh, college, they're like, oh, who's your favorite basketball player? And I'm like, yeah, so anyways, I just don't know anything at all. Um, like, there are Let's people... go right back to you, Judy. Let's go back to the... <laughs> Nothing. Hey. That should be a new thing in this uh, podcast series. Every time there's like an awkward silence, like, back to you, Judy. Back to you, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. So in today's... <laughs> Suddenly, a freaking door has surfaced. Oh, your door's back. The door's back. No, no. Taylor, I, I just, do you think I could ever I have a Star laughing. Wars I'm so podcast? Sorry. The what? A Star Wars podcast. Probably not, cause I won't be there. I don't know how you guys gonna record it, but I won't be. Here. Victoria. Victoria. All right, you guys have fun with that podcast. <laughs> also, something about your YouTube channel. Would you ever do gaming on your channel? I yes. would love to, actually, but my computer is. Oof! It needs a better processor that I can't afford right now, but. Yes, I mean, so. if I did, it probably wouldn't be uh, a high-quality video because I can't... My, my computer just can't handle that. But I actually would love to play um, Robert Yang games, if you remember that hype. The weird guy who makes all of the strange, very mildly gay um, videos. Oh, the the no, video they... games. Um, what was it? Here's a game. Um... Like, you had to, like, shower this guy, and you had to, like, rub his body in weird places. Oh, dear goodness, no. Oh, dear God. No. <laughs> Markiplier played. I think Markiplier played it. Oh. Um, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye played it. Uh, what was the it? Only, the only, like, video game I remember of that is, like, my ex-boyfriend who's a spaceman or something like that. Oh, my, my ex-boyfriend, the space tyrant. There you go. Well, that was... That's a horrible game. That was I, a horrible I, I, game. It was lovely because it was just funny to react to, but like, because it was, you could see the little pieces that weren't colored in correctly, and it bothers me to no extent. To sorry, to such a great extent, to no extent. What am I saying? Back to you, Judy. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> will, will there be smut in rooftop? Asked by random smut Curie. Well, the username fits the question, might I add. And no, there will be not because, um, okay, it's not that I'm averse to making uh, anything of that uh, love. It's just that if I'm going 
to sell my um, integrity, I might as well do it for a price. What I'm trying to say is that if I do make one, you have it's a pay per view kind of thing. Like you had to pay a certain price to watch, to read, to watch, or to read it, or you have to buy the book or the comic book, or I don't know. I'm thinking about it in the most serene hours of the night. I think whether or not I should make smut. I, that was a joke. Please don't think I actually do that. <laughs> I, I like I like the direction you're going with on rooftop. If that helps anything. Thank you. It's almost over. I'm actually doing it right now as we speak. Oh. <laughs> because I felt some. I, I always feel so guilty whenever I can't. I haven't done work, and I haven't done work for two or three days already. So I feel horrible. So I'm doing it now. Are you happy, guys? Are you happy? <laughs> I, I, I'd say I might upload. If, if all goes well, I might be able to upload by the end of the week. Uh, and then you're gonna take another, like, you. That's true. That's me. Like, sometimes when I'm Skyping them, I'm editing a video. It is hard because, like, today, when I was on Skype with Mickey, she was laughing, and then when I was editing the video, she's laughing in that video. <laughs> and I'm just hearing double of laughing, and I'm like, what is happening? Then I pause the video, and then she's enough. still laughing. Is and I'm just like, oh my god, Mickey, shut up. No, I was gonna. But. <laughs> it's just like. I just have to keep it going. Like, I edited three videos today so I can give me a break, and I was proud of myself that I edited those three videos. But editing is hard, guys. Making is cartoons struggle. is hard, guys. Leave so you know Taylor what? alone. If you're patient, the better it will be. Fuck that. Uh, you gotta be quick. No, okay. You gotta go fast. If, if you want fast, then you might get shitty. Then so. watch Sonic. Yeah! <laughs> See it. But I don't know if this means it. Cause I didn't pay attention to this in the comic. But are the shoes that Mark gave Jack, just to let you guys know, going to play a big role like the rainbow umbrella? In where? In the next, in rooftop two or in this rooftop? I have. They, they didn't say. What, what was the question? I'm sorry. Are the shoes that Mark gave Jack going to play a big role like the rainbow umbrella? It will, but next rooftop. Not this one. You guys hear it? This heard it. Uh, I, I, I did promise people that I would add some spoilers for rooftop 2 here. So, what I can say is that um, Septiplier, although the title will still... It, it's still under Septiplier, and it's still the main part of the plot. It's not as centric as it was in the first one. Um, there will be. It's going to focus more on um, other ships and like other tiki. conflicts. Yes, sure, <laughs> sure. Oh. As background characters, why not? As background characters. Oh, like, well, uh, I was just kidding. Been, well, okay. There, there will just be like random pages that you gather in the background of just like smoosh it up or whatever. Um, <laughs> we would love that. There's okay. going to be. Mm -hmm. There's going to be central conflict between Felix and Ken, uh, and the relationship between Felix and Marcia. There's going to be a subplot featuring Wade and Bob and Jack. Mm -hmm. Not not with Mark, but just Wade, Wade, Bob, and Jack. Uh, and there will be Dan and Phil, because <gasps> I because I looked up on my. Um, uh, my followers and most of them, a lot of them, are also fans. So, I mean, who am I to refuse what my audience wants to see? So, because actually Dan was a mentioned character in Rooftop One, my reasoning was that he was too young to be in college at the time. But since Rooftop Two takes place one year after the events of Rooftop One, Dan is now a freshman and Phil is a senior. Oh my gosh. So he will be there. Speaking of that, if Marcy was never added to Rooftop Comet, who would Felix, aka PewDiePie, have a secret crush slash relationship with? For example, would he be in love with the mysterious cry or with the toasty kid? 
Oh, um, it's actually really funny because uh, if anyone has ever read the original Rooftop fan fiction, like these characters weren't even a part of it. It was just Mark and Jack. But because I went crazy with it, it ended up having them in the first place. So. Uh, for a time, I went up with it as I went along, so it's never occurred to me like if I didn't add a character, what would happen? Because uh, it wasn't a planned thing. Um, but anyways, had Marcia not been there, there would probably be a subplot concerning uh, Felix and Cry. But uh, the Ken and Felix dynamic, the will you be my best man thing was... Pure, was, that, that was planned from the beginning, which by the way, that has to be my favorite um, part because it absolutely wrecked me because that idea came to me. That was never supposed to be the ending. The ending was that they forgave each other and that was it. But then I realized like, no, there has to be stakes. Something has to happen. There's actually supposed to be a car crash scene that my sister uh, uh, requested of me if I really wanted to wreck the people who watch but I was like nah not yet <laughs> not yet sorry car wreck wreck them <laughs> sorry yes, exactly. I'll go home but the stakes are so much higher in rooftop 2 there's real trouble in rooftop 2 like I can't I can't I can't share too much but because the thing is with most comics is that you're not truly scared that a character would go away you know what I mean? I'm not saying there's character death. There's no character death in Rooftop. But there will be character death in possibly other endeavors. Perhaps Hiraya. Perhaps uh, other comics that I plan to do in the future. But Rooftop will not have... Will, will, none such thing will happen in Rooftop. But let me just say that uh, Rooftop 2 will end with less characters than it started with. <sighs> Wait, are people graduating? Well, that makes more sense to people graduate or move away. Dun, dun, oh, dun. Me, 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 me and Taylor are already like trying to figure it out. It's like, oh, why'd they go away? Just, no, I'm automatically like, thinking about like the Trouble in Big Tubia story, like the one that we're reading on the channel right now. Yeah. Like a lot of people it has not been like, they're waiting for us to post a chapter before they read the fanfic. They can read the whole fanfic before we like now and a lot of people doesn't know what's gonna happen and we know what's gonna happen in the end yeah and Wait, are we... let's just say just something unexpected is gonna happen in the very last chapter and i'm really excited yeah to record it because I don't me know. too wait am i in that chapter yes 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 i'm really excited for that chapter but like one question I did get on like Tumblr, but it's from an anonymous person. Like, don't be anonymous. Tell us your name. We love you. But they add, they asked me like, what's my favorite tra uh, chapter of Trouble in Vitubia? And I'm like, that my favorite chapter of that is where um, Cry. I think it's chapter. I want to say eight or nine. I want to say that, but it's a chapter where Cry and his inside and then his bad side matter just arguing it's just that whole child just them wrestling out in his head and i'm like excited oh, to that edit is, that's that that's a really good one i'm excited to edit that because it's gonna be so crazy and it's isn't it exciting. done by the same person no or no, no it's two different people person. because in chapter one they say cry has a different voice so i had to have two different voice actors for it someone's doing firecrackers those darn kids with them firecrackers. They're doing it too <laughs> over in my house too. I keep on thinking it's gunshots, but it's not. Cause I got really confused if you hear like, pow pow pow, pow pow. I'm actually going away uh, for New Year's to uh, a summer house far, far from civilization. So I don't have to have, I don't have to be here for all the noise. I'm very sensitive to noise actually. Same. I was I was afraid of like every single type of noise when I was little. Like on the show Blue's Clues, I always left the room where Blue like hits his paw on the on the screen and stuff because he I don't know why, I just hated that noise. It's just like a drum set just hitting on the cymbals or something like that. And I'll just always leave the room and then I would come back after like two minutes and I miss like half of the episode or something like that because I'm scared of that sound. 
they like, people make fun of me because I jump at loud noises. Like, it, they don't really affect me, they just make me jump. And a lot of people like make fun of me like, oh, um, you know, you know, oh, you flinched. And I'm like, you do realize that, you know, if anything were to go down here, I'd be the first one hiding. You know, I'd be the, I'd be the survivor because I flinch. You know, you make fun. One, you know, one time uh, I, I was on my so iPad. Good. One time I was on my iPad and a fly landed on my hand and I accidentally threw my iPad halfway across the room. <laughs> out of like, just surprise. I'm, I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm not easily frightened. I'm easily shocked. I think uh, yeah. it, it, it's harder to explain. We have a better word for it in Tagalog, which is nagugulat, hindi natatahot. Um, speaking about Filipino, let's try something, okay? I want you guys to say a word, okay, or a word after me. All right. All right. Okay. So uh, this is a basic Tagalog lesson, I guess. I shouldn't be the one talking about this because, uh, oh, sorry, because I am not good in my own foreign tongue. But I have all you got right now. So let's start with the very basics. We don't have a word for hello. That's uh, all I have to say. But um, we have uh, this word for welcome or long live, which is mabuhay. Repeat Mabuha. after me, mabuhay, mabuhay. Mabuha. Abuhai? Yeah. Abuhai? Yep. Yep. Oh, that's how you start now, your vlogs. I was really confused yes. about that. <laughs> Mabuhai. Abuhai. Mabuhai. Mabuhai. Abuhai. We don't. We also don't have a word for goodbye, which is really weird. I don't know how, but we have good morning, which is magandang umaga. Magandang umaga. This is umaga. Magandang umaga. Maganda means beautiful. So Maganda. as a as an adjective, it's maganda. Magandang. Magandang umaga. Madam madangom undaka. No, ma- <laughs> magandang. Magandam. Magandang. Magandang. Yeah, there we go. Magandang um umaga. And then ha- and then uh enunciation means so much in our country because um, good afternoon is magandang hapon, but if you want to say beautiful Japanese person, that's magandang hapon. Notice the difference. Magandang hapon, magandang hapon. Oh. So, so I would not life. survive a day. I would not survive a day. No, yeah. I would not either. I'd, I'd, I'd say I feel something like I'd get in jail. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'd say something, I'm in jail. Same or thing with like uh, we have a lot. We have very few words, but most of them mean this mean different things. We have, we're we're fond of homophone f- homophones homophones. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mag- a good evening is magandang gabi, or if you want to say beautiful plant, there's a plant called gabi here, so it's magandang gabi. It's really weird. So those are just the basics. Let's go how do you, to how do you say hum- beautiful women? Magandang babae. Or mga magandang, magandang bae. bae. Magandang, magandang babae. Magandang babae. Magandang to the bae. That's to the both of you. I, I don't know how to say it. Like, to the both Thank of you. you. There you go. Now let's go to tongue twisters real quick. Oh. Ah. Nakakapag ko pagabag. What? I'll, I'll, type, I'll type it down for you in the Skype chat. Thank you. Hold on. You're uh, welcome. It's uh, actually way, my yeah, This is how we're ending can you, can our you podcast do a- with learning this. Can you do it phonetically? <laughs> Phonet- okay. Phonetically. Hold on. The- I'm trying to think in of this- some words that In this to- podcast, rooftop spoilers, zombies, um, Judy, and and Filipino lessons. Woohoo! Yep. I mean, what else do you expect? Because I was thinking about it. It's like, usually we always end our podcasts with, like, a game or something. And I was like... I don't know what game we should end with this. And you already done it with Filipino You've done lessons. it for us. You done it for us. I'm re- Nakanga Bunk Pack Pop. I don't see g- it. Goodbye. It, 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 <laughs> if you have to say it right, you have to say it quickly. So it's Nakakapag Papagabag. That means it's. Wait, is it typed here some, or no? If it's typed there in phonetics. um, it We actually don't have silent letters, everything sounds like the way it's spelled. So, um, 
it means disturbing or scary. Like when you say something is nakakapagpapagabang, it like gives you chills. Mahal, mahal ka like ba ang kum? Because like I'm like I feel like I'll be shivering when I'm saying it. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it funny? Now I oh wait, uh, let's try it together. Nakakapagpapagabang. Nahagum and pagkatum. A plus. Nailed it. Yes. <laughs> Now I am writing down a longer word, and this is one of the longest words in our language. You can totally tell that I did pay attention in any of my foreign foreign uh Eng- foreign language classes. Your foreign English class. <laughs> Shut up. Mostly because this, I didn't like the teacher, not because I don't like languages. Uh, I love learning this, languages. Now, this word means the most emotionally disturbing thing, like the most, okay? Because the uh, the pre- not predicate, the prefix pinaka means most. So here it is, pinaka nakapagpapagab. Wait, sorry, pinaka. Even I can't say it. Pinaka nak. Pinaka nakapagpapagbagabag damdamin. There we go. Pinaha nakapag... Pinaha nakapag... God damn it! Pinaha nakapagpapabagabag damdamin. I'm really sorry. Damn, damn. Believe in yourself. One more time. One more time. One more time. Pinaha nakapagpapagabag... I'm sorry. Pinaka nakapag papa baga bag damdamin. Pinaha abad gun gun the bad I couldn't Close find the, I couldn't find the writing, so I'm doing that purely by memory. Oh, it's on it's on it's on the uh it's on the Skype. Chat. I'm looking on the Skype, I can't find it. Close I can't enough. find it. Back to you, Judy. Back to you, Judy. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. That's our word in in America. <laughs> Do you get oh, it? here it is. A pina kala, a pina pina kana kapagad pagaga pagadam damen. Yeah. <laughs> And then really, Taylor. I, Yeah. Super Califragilisticexpialidocious. You guys know the longest word: pneumonia, ultra microscopic silicon volcanosis. God damn it! I know about that. I didn't know that. All I know is anti-disestablishmentarianism. That is true too. I spell it. A N T I. Endocyclitis. Don't start this. <laughs> And you that's how we end. Here. And that's how we end the podcast with memes. With you and the practice, you guys. Hey um, guys, for everything we you, just. We want to thank everyone. We want to thank Maria. Uh, we want to thank John Cena. For... We want to thank I Judy. I you took it thanks, from me. Thanks, Judy. Petra was going. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> all the links um, to the comics we talk about are below. Yeah, and all of you for tuning in. And mm-hmm. all of her social media, Maria's social media, will be all down there. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. She's gonna have her own tiny section down here. Everything. I'm just gonna keep sending kisses. You're probably gonna get a restraining order by the end of this. Like, she won't stop kissing me. Stop it. Stop it. It's one for each viewer. So, you know what, everybody? Just here's one for you. Here's one for you, Bob. Here's one for you, May. Here's one for you, Azuni Chan. <laughs> here's one for you, Judy. Mwah. Uh, here's for the, the rest of the freaks. Mwah. Like you couldn't be here today. Us. Well, we're normally the host, so. I know. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I wanted to make it seem like we were a cohesive group and not dysfunctional family. I just want to remind hey, everyone above family. the age of 18. To go to archive of our own and search for Ben Dover. That is all. That's that's the last the thing I want. That's what I want to be remembered for. <laughs> With Ben Dover. <laughs> I think that's his whole podcast. His whole podcast is just. That's how it works. Did I do the Woody Woodpecker laugh? 
I feel like this is our most homosexual situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, you've seen nothing yet. And while I'm just talking to me standing half naked on the stage, dancing and singing and, and being trying to be a lesbian. I was bi. Yeah, bi, I wasn't. We, well, we don't um, know. Oh, yes, we do. You didn't write and that. And speaking <laughs> about bi... Bye. I don't know, I just wanted to make a nice hug. Speaking about bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. How, how do we end this? I'm not sure how to end things. I, I think I think oh, we're speaking already at, of bye. bye. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. just do, do your normal way how you say goodbye in your vlogs and make you just as bye and I say like, goodbye. Like, subscribe, follow Satan. That's all. Z